Hey everybody, this is the comparison video. Um, don't mind my little setup. My desk is an absolute mess. Everywhere around that you can't see is also a mess. Um, I just wanted to do something quick. Uh, I got the re uh, the Sora version 2 in the mail. I don't want to really change their poses because um, I'm really digging where it is, so it's not going to be like how the Riku one is. However, I will uh, f hold them up to the camera, um, such as the new head sculpts I can take off. Uh, overall, the body is relatively the same. Um, there are some slight few differences, such as the different hands that he comes with. Um, as you can see in this one here, uh, there's like, it's not fully open for the right hand, whereas this one is fully open for the right hand. Um, just minor difficulties like minor differences um however the, the head sculpts are really different so as you can see here's this one again it has this uh metal paint on the eye uh the same as the riku one has to make it more reflective which i think is really cool um overall it has more of a better hair sculpt as well as you can tell uh compared you know obviously different color actually as well let me um actually just pick up sora here I'll keep it in the same pose. Um, the hair is like practically completely different. It's a little smaller. It's not as like shot out everywhere as the other one is. Uh, as uh, this one does not have the reflective paint on the eyes um, as this one does. His cheeks are a little slimmer. Um, just, I don't know, it just looks a little bit nicer than the other one. So where was it? Here's the other head sculpt here. He's uh, smiling with his teeth. Again, with the reflective paint and the hair is really sharp. Actually has more of the triangle look, um, how he's supposed to, instead of uh, this one here, which is more of like a rough triangle. As you can see, the model is just so much more sharp and it has this one has more spikes and detail to the spikes instead of being these are more sharp based rather these are more of like fat and rounded if that makes if that makes sense um he also came with other things i can put him back on there we go so uh he actually came with uh if i can get it out the starlight keyblade which is really cool um I was originally planning on having him set up so he was, like, riding it, like, in the Keyblade Graveyard cutscene, but I had no no clue on how I was going to be able to set that up. So, um, I think this is really cool. It's got great detail. Um, just an interesting little, like, throw-in, I guess. I, I, I don't really see why he needs it other than that. And then the other thing is the gummy phone, which is really cool. It's a nice little sculpt. has no pegs in it, though, so I'm assuming it just, like, sits in his hand which is a little weird, but that's not terrible. Um, here, I'll show you the hands that it came with. This is, so, you know, here it has more of, more open hands, which is cool. Um, I think these are another right hand, or no, I think these are both. Yeah, another right hand. Oh, sorry, that was left. I'm not, I'm not right, like I said. Another open one, and then um, another open one here. Two more fists. This doesn't stop focusing. Um, I think another one that you can put, uh, I think another weapon in there. So this is having trouble focusing. So we're just going to just stick with these. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I think that this one's really cool, uh, design wise. Let's see, I'll zoom in on that. Here we go. I bring this, bring him forward here. I think that looks really neat. I think that's really cool. And the keyblade for, uh, Big Hero 6, I don't remember what it's called. Nano machine, nanobite, I don't know. It's been a long time, so don't judge me. <laughs> um, everything else looks really nice. Um, I still don't like how they just have one piece for this. I wish that they would just... Um, why is it doing that? That's strange. Anyway, I'd rather they just make these like all actual chains. I don't know why they just make it all one piece. It's, that bothers me so much, but... He's a little easier to pose. He has, like, better joints in some of his legs and stuff like that. Um, the the joints in the knees actually work a little bit nicer. And some of the arms. I, I heard it, there's issues with the wrists, but so far mine has no issues at all. Um, I guess that's that pretty much wraps it up, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if you can 
like put the other heads on each one. I know Riku's you couldn't do that, so I'm assuming that this one is kind of the same. Um, I'll show you the back of the box if it lets me here. This is the uh, the poses here, which is kind of cool. Um, you can see like the better quality versions of the faces here. Um, I want to eventually pose uh, this guy on a Baymax. Um, I don't usually collect Disney figures. Uh, I usually think that Disney figures, like outside the ones that are licensed for Kingdom Hearts, uh, kind of take up more space. I, I'm already low on space to begin with, and I feel like if I'm collecting Disney figures based off of characters in the series, that's just doubling the amount of crap that I have in my room um, and just more of a hit on my wallet. So I just, I usually tend not to do that, but I figure for this one specifically, I feel like it would work the best. Uh, so I bought one that roughly about scales about, um, I'd say, probably to the top of these boxes. So it's just a little bit taller than him. Um, I think that would work really well. So I'm going to see if I can get him to be on the back of Baymax eventually. I want to have that as a big display of him, like the uh, original concept art. Um, but other than that, it's a one-time deal. Like I, I just, I'm trying to not do that any longer. But I figure that I make a little uh, comparison video. Uh, oh, there goes the little crown. Um, of these two, uh, here, I'll, I'll pick up both of them, I'll show you them, uh, oh, side by side here, so as you can see, uh, much different, much higher detail, even on, like, the shirt, um, there's different colors, and it's not, the jacket's more closed up, and it's not as, like, loose as this one was, um, and like you know, better paint job on the hood. They made the, the. It seems they made a lot. Everything a little bit smaller. I think they. I feel like they rushed into this guy. Um, a little too fast, and that's probably why he looks as he did because that's all they had to go off of. And I feel like they didn't have really enough time to like really make a nice figure. Um, if they did, if the crown will stay on, I think he just needs to lean up a little bit. I don't know how I did this. <laughs> no. Anyway, um, yep, so I just wanted to conclude that video. It's just some, some short thing. Um, but, yeah.